What's up you guys, it's your boy Next back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about stop letting fear run your life. Stop letting fear rule your life. So I'll tell you a little story. Before I joined the army, I'm getting ready to go to work right now. I gotta move while I create this YouTube video. I'm hustling and bustling, you feel me? But before I joined the army, I tore my ACL really bad because of the habit of drifting, dripping from task to task, topic to topic, not taking care of my body, all these things, right? But because of the habit of drifting, I tore my ACL so bad, like ACL and meniscus, I got a whole line on my knee, like this shit like this long. Like, bro, it was bad. And even when I joined the army, I was limping, like, like halfway through BCT, it took me like get to, to get halfway through BCT almost a year and a half after just for me to heal properly, you feel me? But like I never I didn't I never even knew I was so scared that I wasn't gonna heal and like I wasn't even gonna join the army, but you know, I was just like, you know what? I fucked up my life some. Like I kept on like I would start something good and then I would fuck up. I would start something good and I would fuck up. I fucked up my life some. I always wanted to be in the army. I need to do something with my life, you feel me? So I was just like, you know what? I'm going to join the military. At first, I was going to join the National Guard. But then I realized you can't go active duty when you first join the National Guard. So I was like, nah. And then I was just like, you know what? Army it is. So I joined the army. And now, like, I'm, I consider myself a high-speed individual. Like, we, we say high-speed basically means, like, I don't know, a good soldier. A soldier that knows what he's doing, you feel me? But, like, my AC. CFT is high, that's like the physical test. I could run two miles in like fucking 14 minutes and 30 seconds. Like, I wasn't able to get there when I first joined the army. When I first joined the army, my two miler was like 21 minutes. Like, that's absolutely pitiful. Point is, like, I didn't let fear rule my life, even though it almost did. Fear almost stopped me from joining the army. And now, like, the army gave me my own little place, like, car paid off, like, credit score going up i found i met i met a nice girl in the army you feel me like a lot life been going well but if i would have let fear ruin my life if i would have let fear of making this youtube channel being made fun of with this youtube channel i would have never had this youtube channel right now if i would if i wouldn't uh chase my dreams and release my first song i wouldn't have my first song on apple music spotify all these different apps you feel me you can't let fear rule your life fear is like one of the devil's playgrounds like he wants you to be fearful he wants you to give in to the fear you can't give in to the fear and no i'm not trying to make this fucking video religious or nothing i'm just trying to be honest with you guys like you can't let fear rule your life like you're capable of so much more than what you think so you truly gotta believe in yourself and like and just put your best foot forward it's not gonna be easy you might fail when i first joined the army my first couple weeks i was like damn maybe i'm not built built for this shit you feel me but i never gave up i was like damn i keep on i can't even run two miles damn i can't even like everybody else could do like not everybody but like everybody else could do like 40 push-ups i only could do about 35 now i could do like i'm literally i could do like 100 push-ups straight if i want to not even exaggerate i know that sounds like an exaggeration but it's not i can literally like do push-ups with the best of them like point is like you gotta you gotta like fight the fear you gotta like everybody's scared of things you're gonna be scared of things in life you can't control that but what you can't control is your reaction to your fear whenever i'm afraid of something now i just do it. i'm just like fuck it i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna fucking chase my dreams and make sure that like when i die remember this memento mori this is a stoicism quote it basically means i will die one day you feel me you remind yourself that one day i'm gonna leave this earth so while i'm on this earth while i have this opportunity i'm gonna do everything i possibly can to make sure my dreams happen my dreams will come true i will be performing my songs on stage i will be fucking having 10 million subscribers i will do all of this i promise i'm gonna do a po do positive things in this world and that starts with me just believing in myself and putting action forward i'm putting on my belt y'all i'm sorry but and putting putting action forward it starts with believing in yourself though if you don't believe in yourself who's gonna believe in you you it all starts with you but you can't let the fear like get into your heart and your like get deep into your mind. It might if I can see the fear intrusive thoughts. You know, everybody know what an intrusive thought is. You know those random thoughts you get sometimes. Like let's say this is about to be a bad example. I'm not saying I ever think this, but you know in GTA when you just driving and you see people walking, you run them over. Like you feel me? Like those are intrusive thoughts. But I can see the fear intrusive thoughts. Like, um, I got a beautiful girlfriend right now. 
I'm about to go on deployment next year. I'm like, we we had a long, like we had like 10 million talks about cheating and all this because a lot of soldiers get cheated on on deployment. And like, I can't let fear stop me from being with this amazing woman. I don't believe she will cheat. I know every man says that, but I don't believe it. And honestly, she's not really like super sexually, like she don't got that like super sexual history, like, you know, so I really don't have to worry about it, but it's scary, you feel me? But I'm not letting fear stop me from being with this amazing woman, you feel me? Why would I let that happen? What if I stay with her and she actually don't cheat and I actually live a good life with her? That's just an example for you guys. I'm just talking about my life because that's the only examples I could possibly give y'all. But you can't let fear stop you from doing anything. Like, I tried to go airborne. I wanted to jump out of planes. I know my knee was a little fucked up, but it's not no more. I was scared to go airborne when I first joined. If I would have signed airborne with my contract i would have got more than a ten thousand dollar bonus you feel me but i didn't because i was scared now i just signed up for airborne school after i get back to, from deployment my first sergeant said i'm going straight i'm gonna go straight to airborne school after they give me some time off so like next year i'll be an airborne soldier with one one deployment under my belt when i get back like a beautiful wife like all this happened because i didn't let fear creep in you like there's you could be fearful about a lot in this world bro a lot of things be scary the world is scary the world is cruel like but you can't let that stop you you can't let that control you because at the end of the day only you determine your destiny you determine your destiny by the actions you do every single day i determine my destiny by saving that little five dollars today guess what by releasing this youtube video today by working out today by going to work on time today it's gonna help me control my destiny because I'm going to rank up. Oh, that $5 is going to become $10, $20, $100, $500, 1000 You feel me? Your actions today determine your future. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you can do the things that you need to do to try in life. Just know that. If you're one of my subscribers, I believe in you. Like, I know that sounds cliche. Oh, you believe in this? You don't even know us. Nah, I believe in you. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what's your race, none of that. I believe in you. I believe that you are fully capable of accomplishing your dreams. So you gotta put in the work. I always mention these five books. I mentioned it in the last video. But check out Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter by 50 Cent. I'll win the devil. Um, I forgot the, the author for that. But... He was amazing. All Way in the Devil is the book. Um, You Can't Break Me. Check out The Atomic Habits, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 48 Laws of Power, The 50th Law. What else? Um, The Art of Seduction. Like, it's a lot of good books that y'all can start out improving your life with. I just want you to actually do it and not worry about what the bullshit people got to say. Because people always going to talk. People always going to have some shit to say. So why, why would you care about what anybody else has to say? I don't give a fuck what you have to say about me, you know? I don't give a fuck because I'm getting to it. But I'm at the end of this video. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all this shit, all the love and, and all the stuff, bro. I love you guys. Peace, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video.